Hi, this is Paul from GlobalTradingSoftware.com and this is a stock swing trading tutorial. I'm going to keep it very simple. I'm just going to use one of our indicators called the roller coaster. So stocks, when you're swing trading stocks throughout the year, or in this case a quarter, three or four months, we are looking for those moves up and down. It, it can be like a roller coaster. You'll get instances where we get a real good um, buoyancy move from uh, earnings, from data, things like that, then there'll always be some profit taken and then that move may continue again up. Uh, so the idea of swing trading is don't be afraid to go short, don't be afraid to go long, uh, have a sensible trading strategy uh, that uh, will over time give you a decent return. So. This is 2023. Um, we are uh, around the middle of April 2023, and this is the Microsoft stock. Now, some people say, why are you on the 195? Uh, the 195 minutes actually cuts the trading day in half. So each two candles is a trading day. Uh, smooth it out a little bit, especially for swing trading. Remember, you're going you're gonna to get in this and you're going to hold. Uh, the roller coaster, the expert roller coaster, is a combination. So it's it's a stochastic MACD cross. So what we're trying to do is smooth out both the stochastic and the MACD. We're trying to look for those nice moves, those roller coaster moves. Uh, and then we've got some EMAs in there for uh, entry criteria and then for uh, to trade management. So we get entry, we get stop loss, and we print the uh, trading stop for you. So. There's been three trades so far in 2023, and this is where we are live right up till now. Uh, so with the roller coaster, we um, get a little green arrow signal here. So this is a trading view version. It's available for lots of other uh, trading platforms. Check out the links below in the description. I think there's six different platforms we we um, we develop the roller coaster for. So we have uh, an entry line here. So that's a start point. So it's used a stop limit order. Um, and then uh, we see here the catalyst really is the, the earnings cycle. But we're already in this trade. Uh, the earnings cycles takes us through and then we start to print the trailing stop here. So every time a candle closes, we adjust the trailing stop until such time as we get taken out and we take the profit. So this entry here was 239 bucks and we got out at 263 bucks. That's a good trade. That trade was in from mid-January uh, until mid-February. So it's in a month. So that's, for me, um, what I used to do for a living. Uh, a month to six weeks is a good time for holding a stock in a swing trading position. And then we get the roller coaster coming back down again. Uh, we print the entry here at this point here. You see the little arrow just there. We print the stop. And then as we start to come down, the trailing stop position is uh, printed here until we get taken out for the little bit of profit there. Now we haven't got a crystal ball. We don't know what's going to happen. That could have continued to go down. This just was natural profit taking here, but it's good to get in those shorts, get some extra cash in to start adding to your position again on the long side. Again, when the roller coaster comes back up, we get another signal at this point here. We actually don't enter that trade for quite a few days afterwards. Remember, each two candles is one day. So there's a good week or so before we actually go through that start line. It didn't take the stop out for the order, so we don't cancel the order. Goes through, and then we get a nice move up, making some new highs there, and then eventually just tips out that trailing stop to take that profit there as well. So it's three trades on one stock. Again, when you're just a, a little bit of a tip, when you're swing trading stocks, pick five, six stocks to swing trade. Start to understand their behavior. Look at those time frames: 240, 195 for me, 78 is another good swing trading uh, time frame. Swing trade off the daily time frame if you wish. Uh, select a strategy that's simply enough to follow. This is very simple. You get a little arrow. You get an entry, a start point, if you like, to use a stop market or a stop limit order. You get a stop position. Once this starts printing here, you adjust your stop to lock in profit. When it gets taken out, 
look for the reversal. If it happens, go short. When it gets taken out, look for the reversal. There's your entry point. Stop limit order here. Doesn't get taken in. Doesn't take the stop out for the order either. So keep the order in till it goes in, and then you get a nice little move up. So three trades in three months, swing trading stops. That's what you should be looking at. You shouldn't be looking for trades every single day. Half a dozen stocks give you a nice, good, uh, steady funnel of uh, trades going through with that swing trading opportunity. So check out the links below for the roller coaster. It does all the hard work behind the scenes and prints that simple graphical representation on the chart to tell you when to go long, when to go short and where to manage to trade with that trading stop. Hopefully that helps. Speak to you all really soon.